You can make your very own Survive the Killer or Piggy style game in Roblox Studio. By the end of this video, you'll have a working round-based killer versus survivors game framework. All the code is clean, simple, and expandable. So let's get started. First, go to Replicated Storage and make a folder called Game Values. Inside, add three int values, one object value, and one string value. Name the three int values. Current time, set it to zero. In round time, I'll set this one to 30. Intermission time, I'll set mine to 15. Next, the object value. Name it current killer and leave it empty. Finally, the string value. Name it round state and set it to intermission. Don't forget to add a remote event as well and name it. Announce. Boom! Now our replicated storage is fully equipped with all the game values. Moving on, head over to server script service. You're gonna add three scripts. Leader stats, script is in the description. Round script, also linked down below. Death Handler. Same deal, grab it from the description. Don't worry, you can always tweak them later to fit your own game. Next up, go to Server Storage. Add two folders. One is called Maps. The other is Tools. Let me build my map real quick. Inside your map, place some spawn parts for both survivors and the killer. Group the survivor spawns into a folder called Survivor, and the killer spawns into a folder called Killer. Then, Group those two folders together into one folder named Spawn Points. And drop it inside your map. Your map structure should look like this. Map, Spawn Points, Killer and Survivor. And don't stop at one map. Let me make at least two so the game can pick maps randomly. Still inside server storage, create another folder called Tools. This is where you'll store weapons for the killer. For example, I'll grab an axe from the toolbox. Rename it Killer Tool and put it inside the Tools folder. Now whenever someone is chosen as killer, they'll automatically get this weapon. Last step is the UI. In Starter Guy, make these three frames. Announce Frame with a text label inside called Announce Label. Timer Frame. With two text labels inside, Timer Label and State Label. Roll Pop-Up with a text label inside called Roll Label. Let me make this UI better, really quick. And finally, add a local script for the UI. Script is linked down below. 
And that's it. We've built the full framework for our killer game. Random killer selection, intermissions, round system, and even working maps with spawn points. This is basically the foundation of a real survive the killer game. And you can expand it however you want. Here's a quick recap on the explorer here. Make sure you did everything and name everything correctly, or else it wouldn't work. Now let's test it out. Here's player one POV, and here's player two POV. And boom, everything works. The killer is chosen, the survivors spawn in, and the round plays out. If the survivor is still alive and survives the round, it gets a win and points on the leaderboard. The amount of points can be changed on the round script. If the killer manages to kill all survivors, then the killer will get a win and points as well. If you guys love this system and have any ideas, drop them down below in the comments. Maybe missions, more maps, or even new killer abilities. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.